Hello, everybody, and welcome to OpenEXO Live. I'm Kevin Allen, the Chief Community Officer at OpenEXO, and it's really great to be with you. It's evening for me uh, here in Cape Town, South Africa, and evening for Nukutaba, who is our guest this evening as well. And you can see some people there who are coming up in the next couple of weeks. You'll see that number is a little bit uh, small, and that's because we're going to go on a little break uh, after that. And then if you want to be on OpenEXO Live, please do head over to the OpenEXO platform and apply for the opportunity to join uh, the OpenEXO Live show. Uh, it'll be great to have you, so please do go ahead and do that. And before we get Nokutaba up on screen, I would just remind folks that you can share in the chat. So I see uh, Rodrigo, he's watching from Chile. Uh, welcome, Rodrigo. If you want to share, uh, say hi or ask any questions, uh, please do share those in the chat on whatever platform you are on. Before we get Nokutaba up on screen, I did ask some folks to share a little bit about her, and I have two messages here. First one comes from Kelly Rowe, and she just says, Nukutaba is phenomenal. Uh, we completed our OpenEXO trainer certification during 2020, and our whole cohort were all completely blown away. Nukutaba's positive energy, compassion for others, and outlook for the, uh, for the future is contagious. Nukutaba has this incredible ability to do many amazing things all at the same time. Nothing is impossible for Nukutaba. I'm excited to see the Tab at Work community platform launched. Congratulations. And then we have from Mervyn. Nukutaba is a great person with a hunger to learn, uh, to engage, and to transform. She displays all the right traits to lead at, at in our always volatile, always uncertain world. I have loved the discussions we've had on topics of futurism, industry sector outlook, uh, business growth strategy, and the role of humans in navigating this change. So uh, it's uh, awesome to uh, bring up onto the stage, uh, Nuktaba, how are you doing this evening? I'm fine, Kevin, and thanks. Thank you to 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 Mav and Kelly for the for the kind words. Absolutely, and so Noktaba, the first thing we always ask of people is just to give us a bit of a background about yourself, um, and 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 share with us why it is and how you joined uh, the OpenEXO community. Okay. Now I'll start up uh, to, just to tell you um, briefly about myself. Um, I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. I remember from the age of nine, I was always enterprising, selling stuff. So I've always had mindset of, of being an entrepreneur. But I've spent the last 20 years in the, in the financial sector I've been working in the general insurance space um, in, in, in the years that I've mentioned. And I must say, it's been a privilege for me to see the transition in terms of how businesses have evolved. I've seen quite a lot of um, technologies coming in and, and going. I've seen so many business methodologies that we have implemented um, some worked, some did not work, but it's been such a, 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 a wonderful journey for me in, in, this, in the financial insurance um, sector. You asked me how I joined the Open EXO community. It's also yes. very interesting. So in this journey, like I've said, in the corporate space, you, you get exposed to so, to, to so many um, a, a projects. So I was introduced to 10X. And I remember very well in that introduction of 10X, there was an illustration that, you know, businesses have been growing this way, but there's a way you can grow this way exponentially. And I was quite intrigued. I started to look for a book because they told me that there's actually a book that was written about uh, 10X and how companies are growing exponentially. I remember I first found a book, I read it and I said, I'm not sure if this is the, the exact book I'm looking for. 
So I kept on searching until I, I came across exponential organizations. After I read the book, I then started to follow um, so many uh, videos online about exponential organizations until I met um, the team from EXO Works and they did some presentations to us and they told us um, about the second book and we looked around and then we then realized that, oh, there's actually a, a community. Then I became the member of the Open EXO community and there was a, a session on Hopkin that I managed to organize last year in April and uh, started to relate with quite a number of um, uh, members and I began to learn quite a lot from um, different people in different cohorts that I participated in. Perfect. And so, you know, what what would you say the the experience with the community has been like? Obviously, uh, you know, you you get to interact with people from from all over the world. But how has the experience been? I must say it's been wonderful because um, especially if you're coming from a very uh, linear local background in terms of understanding of business and understanding of technology. It exposed me to how different countries, how different sectors are using different uh, forms of uh, um, accelerating technologies. I also did the, the programs within the community. I did my certifications uh, for consulting, for EXO Sprint Coach, as well as for uh, trainer. So in, during that, as I participated and I, as I, I conversed and um, became part of a number of assignments. I then realized that we talk a lot about the fourth industrial revolution, but we are um, probably mainly looking at one quadrant, which is um, um, incremental technology. So we speak a lot, we are transforming, we're digitizing, we're, di we're going through digital digitalization. But when we look at it, we're really looking at the existing technology that we have versus the uh, the customers that we currently have, the markets that we currently have. So I then learned that we now need to shift and move to more of disruptive technology, disruptive innovation, as well as radical um, innovation. So what I learned and what I observed quite a number of uh, um, uh, in, uh, members doing was really where they are constantly looking through the window as to who's going to dis dis disrupt them in their different sectors, as well as um, thinking about how do we radically innovate and 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 make a difference so so for me it was a, 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 a an eye opener to say right now is the right time for companies that are talking about transformation that are talking about um, investment in technology is the right time for the shift to happen because remember if you're very linear and uh, you are probably operating from a legacy um, a background what then tends to happen is you may look for a technology that is not accelerating. You may find another uh, company or another consultant who's probably also very linear like you are, and whatever you get may not give you uh, 10x, whatever you get may not give you any exponential innovation or any exponential growth at all. No, absolutely no, Katawa. You know, the. The story I was telling uh, when 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 you uh, cut off um, was was very much around you know that digital transformation where where people are just digitizing a process a system that is linear versus an exponential transformation which says what is the outcome we want and let's think about this radically differently um, and 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 that is sort of the exponential thinking we get with within the community which is which is really amazing and now you know you've 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 taken this and and you've looked at launching a, a platform called tab at work can you can you explain a little bit about that what it is what you what yeah. you're looking to do okay so i'm 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 excited about tab at work and when we're doing the when i was doing the certification 
I think out of all the attributes, uh, community and crowd spoke to me more than uh, the rest of the attributes, mainly because it became an opportunity for me to elaborate more, to talk more about exponential growth. So um, tepid work is in two forms. So we've uh, created a, an ecosystem, if I may put it that way, where um, I've, I've managed to get on board a group of very young people because my transformative purpose, my massive, my personal massive transformative purpose is really to impact the young generation, is really to impact the, the, the young leaders that um, are emerging right now. So I've managed to put a platform, one, I'm leveraging on assets I didn't need to build which is one thing that I've learned from the community that don't spend a lot of time building because it may take you six months and it may not be accelerating. So I identified a platform um, where I can bring uh, people together. So at, at the ecosystem, we've got almost all sectors. We are trying to address all the 17 SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals. So if you're talking uh, climate action, if you're talking gender equality, if you're talking innovation and infrastructure, you catered for in the community. So what we have right now is courses um, on, on, on customer, we've got courses on technology. I've got my consulting and my awake uh, sort of programs also running uh, within the, the platform. And what we, we intend to do is to try and introduce the community to a different number of people. So within that community, I have people who run their own groups, who bring in their own community within uh, tablet work. That's why I keep referring it to it as an ecosystem. And the second phase of that is we're going to bring uh, technology because what I believe in is it doesn't matter how small or how big you are as a business, you may still be linear. So we're trying to introduce uh, various technologies that um, can be implemented without forgetting um, everyone in terms of the small to medium sized businesses. If you are baking a cake, how do we get you to get QR codes so that people can give you feedback as you deliver the cake? If you are making marmalade jam, how do we get you to get uh, customers to give you feedback on the community? If you, you are doing sculptures and you want to sell overseas, how do we get you uh, to get a payment gateway? How do we get you, because some people don't even have email addresses, how do we get people to get email addresses, get them payment gateways, and get their products to go uh, globally, to get to markets that they may not act as if they were not using any form of technology. Then the second part of tablet work is we are community builders. Um, we are replicating what tablet work is um, for smaller businesses or even big businesses, uh, this cohort that we've come up with, they have the capability to really uh, put together um, um, a community, manage a community, get a community uh, on social media, get a community running within that platform and be able to monetize it. Because at the end of the day, we want everyone to be able to, to, to monetize. And we're getting a lot of data because the platform that we're using has got a lot of integrations, a lot of algorithms. So there's a lot of uh, data that we're getting. So the second set of um, tablet work is really us as the community going out there to help build other communities, help transform pipeline businesses to get onto platforms. So basically that's what Tepid Work is all about. Okay. And and obviously at the beginning, I don't think I mentioned you're in Khabarone in Botswana. So is is Tabit Work uh, you know you starting uh, with with Botswana and and do you what are your aspirations there? Okay, interestingly, we started with uh, uh, South Africa and Zimbabwe. So most of the okay. guys who are running their different groups are actually um, in, in South Africa and in Zimbabwe. Most of the members are also in South Africa, Zimbabwe. But the idea is to get tepid work to go all the way to Africa. We've got the French connections, um, the guys from the Francophone countries as well. We have them on board. 
And uh, interestingly, from the community members that I'm very close to who are in Philippines, they've also come on board and they'll be running certain courses within the platform. Uh, once we get a lot of uh, individuals who would want to know more about tablet work, we're going to collaborate with um, different members of the community. But the whole idea is to get tablet work uh, all across Africa, is to transform uh, the digital space across Africa to get young people uh, to put their products. There's a marketplace within tablet work. There's um, a, a section for jobs, for gigs, for freelancers. So the whole, all attributes uh, that we learn from the open eggs or um, like stuff on demand, we already have subsections of individuals that we know that there will be uh, stuff on demand. We are also teaching them how do you get your customers engaged how do you get them coming to see your brand every day how do you get them to refer how do you use interfaces so it's really a global business right now but starting africa asia and then it's going to be all over awesome no Katawa. yeah and and unfortunately uh uh jumbo uh from the philippines i, I really wanted him to share a, a testimonial for you and and he he ran out of time because <laughs> I know that you you're doing you, you're doing some work with with folks there and and uh, it's it's actually really amazing how they've grown the community there but when you when you say uh, you know what you're speaking about is is something I'm I'm super passionate about right I mean I I believe that everyone has so much potential um and you know being being you know, from Africa, from or from South Africa, and and travelled a little bit uh, on the continent, and need to travel more as well. Um, but um, but I just think there's so much, so much potential and opportunities. So, and and understanding, uh, you know, having an exponential mindset and a, an abundance mindset is something that um, that is so important, right? Um, so so how how are you making sure that 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 sort of mindset uh, is is there for the people, and and you know, and they embrace sort of the the, the exponential thinking with with tab at work. Yeah. Okay. So the conversation is really around the scarcity model that we were brought up in, and um, we we sometimes do not understand why we confine ourselves in spaces where there is lack. As an example, um, when you look at how we think of um, technology, I remember when I started working 19 years ago, emails in the outside of the world were really coming in. So you find that we confined ourselves so much uh, to emails, as an, I'm just using an example. Mm -hmm. But now you find that there are social technologies that have come on board. They're there. I'm sure each and every company has the social technologies. and it's one attribute that can help companies scale. But you find that we shy away. Why? Mainly because we've been wired in a certain way of thinking and we've been wired in a certain way that um, this is how things have been done. As an example, if you look at the older generation, you find the baby boomers, they want the millennials to behave the same way they behaved. They want the workplace to really be like the same way when they joined. So we limit ourselves because right now we need to be operating in, in abundance um, models, especially now with the young people and the way they reason and the way they want things done. So we tend to really not think exponentially or not to be in the abundance mind frame, mainly because of how we've been modeled, our education system, our current setups where we work, it's really still very, for me, it's still more or less similar to the way it was back in 2002 when I started working. Mm, absolutely. Now, uh, Louis on, 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 uh, YouTube's asked two things. The first thing he's asking, uh, is it similar to the way Shopify works? Um, but then he's also asking, are you connected with the African Digital Asset Foundation? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think platforms work more or less the same way. Um, mm. it, 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 it has some att attributes of, of Shopify only when you get to the marketplace. 
but in the yeah. marketplace it's more of an individual saying this is what I, I am selling but let's say you are in a group you can get to a group if you want to monetize the group and want people to pay to be part of your group there's that um, a facility if you want people to pay for your courses within the community you are able to um, charge for the courses that you bring and in the marketplace if you are able to sell we can uh, provide that as well awesome awesome and so as we as we sort of end off this conversation um what is it that you want to to sort of leave people with right what what should what what should people be thinking about <laughs> <laughs> um people should be thinking about the shift that it's no longer this business as it was five years ago doesn't matter how small you are you need to start to to to, to understand that um, there is opportunities for growth in the digital space and you need to start to learn that there's um, a lot of um, ways in which you can connect and interact with people and communities is, is, is one space that I personally believe is a platform or is an opportunity for people to come together and start to collaborate and enrich each other um, and be able to monetize and be able to learn and be able to, to grow in terms of the knowledge that they have and in terms of even financially communities for me are, are the next big thing especially for um, people that are listening to me right now from the African side um, let's get into the platforms let's let's use um, technology to scale our businesses let's move away from um, the manual or the mundane kind of um, businesses that we've been operating and shift to the digital space Absolutely, Noktaba. And and I couldn't agree with you more that it's not something that only large businesses can do. Uh, there are so many tools that are available that are very affordable because of because of uh, you know technological advancement. So don't say I'm a small bakery, therefore I can't do this. Actually, you can. There's many attributes that you can actually look at and look at implementing. So um, yeah, really excited to see how this goes. Looking forward to feedback, um, uh, you know, in the in the coming uh, coming uh, weeks, months, uh, and and uh, yeah, really, really looking forward to it. And you have a fantastic evening uh, there uh, in Khabarone. And thank you for having me on the live show today. It's more than a pleasure. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye. So that was uh, Nukutabo Mtunzi. Uh, she was calling in from uh, Khabarone, Botswana. Uh, really great to have her on the show. Um, do uh, do uh, go check out what she's doing. And before we uh, leave today, I did want to just uh, end the show with a quick video from Salim about our upcoming uh, EXO Awards, uh, which are happening next week. Uh, so do join us for that too. Hi there, I'm Salim Ismail. It's been almost seven years since we published Exponential Organizations, the global best-selling book. Uh, Ray Kurzweil, the director of engineering at Google, said that exponential organizations should be required reading for anyone interested in the ways that exponential technologies are reinventing best practices in business. Uh, but not just business now, but government, nonprofits, impact projects, pretty much any organization in the world. Now in 2021, we're hosting the inaugural Exponential Transformation Awards. And I'm really excited to tell you a little bit more about this. We have over 50 applicants in six exciting categories for you to learn about that are showcasing some incredible experience, uh, creativity, inspiration, and a lot of very hard work. Uh, share the event with the friends and colleagues, and please consider registering uh, for our awards event uh, at the end of July. Tickets are free. Uh, there'll be a fantastic opportunity to learn from the trials, successes, experiences that the OpenEXO community has accumulated at the forefront of exponential transformation and business innovation. We're here to transform the future of society and we're building a global ecosystem focused on just that. So please do come join us.